So I would like to give a cash app shout out to a guy named Fast Life One In. Thanks a lot for the cash app, man. Thanks a lot for your support for my channel. Now, I watched the Dante Martin video of him getting hurt. And I'm going to say this. This injury was the best thing to ever happen to him. I feel like this is his chance to finally learn how to wrestle. Let's just be real. This kid does not know how to wrestle. He is a gymnast posing as a wrestler. I remember I used to compare him to Ricochet, right? But then I realized, hold on, Ricochet can actually wrestle. He knows how to do stuff when it comes to flipping, but he don't cling on to that. He knows how to wrestle. I've never seen Dante Mara do a goddamn headlock. It's like his style is so immature. It's like he goes 100 miles an hour. It's all athleticism. He don't give you no time to see whether or not he can wrestle. It's all flips and dives and how well I can flip. That's his whole offense. That's his whole game. Listen, eventually, him and his brother, they got to learn a hard way. Every year, it's either Dante gets hurt or his brother gets hurt doing stupid flippy stuff. Eventually, you have to get a wake-up call. This was Dante's wake-up call. Stop doing flippy-dippy spots. It's not worth it. It's like, bruh, I will never do that move for you neckbeards. It's like, man, it's not that serious for a neckbeard to cheer for me, to do a damn move. He paid for his ticket. Look, at the end of the day, they didn't pay to see you go through a table from a Canadian destroyer. They didn't pay to see that. They paid to see you wrestle. They already have your money, right? So why do all that dumb stuff? They are going to pop regardless of what you do. So why do it? It's like you didn't think it through on how well you was going to land from a Canadian destroyer to a table. Now, I ain't gonna sit here and say, oh, they would never do that back in the WWF. No, not true. Um, I seen um Adam Coleslaw go to a table from Ciampa. I think it was in War Games. That was a crazy ass stunt. So I can't say that, but when it comes to Ricochet, Ricochet, he is a professional, right? He is a professional at doing flips and dives and kicks. He knows what he's doing. It's like he looks professional when he does it. Dante, his flips look so damn amateur, like he's a damn gymnast trying to be a wrestler. It's like this was the best thing to ever happen to him because this would change up his style. And here's what I mean. Doing flips and dives and kicks. Bruh, that's for the birds, bruh. <laughs> that's for the birds, man. It's not worth it. Look. Why do we call flying Brian Pillman the loose cannon Brian Pillman? Once he stopped doing all the flips and dives and kicks, he got over because once he stopped doing flips and dives and kicks, he got a character. He had a gimmick. It's like, dude, most people don't even remember most of his matches once he became the loose cannon. It was all character, it was all gimmick. That's what got him over not doing flips. In fact, I felt like, okay, I loved watching Brian wrestle when he was in the WWF because he was he was not doing flips and dives and kicks. He had to learn how to wrestle. He had to learn how to be a tech wrestler. He had to learn how to be a technician. That's why I feel like he had decent good matches. Same thing with Stone Cold Steve Austin. He said once he had those bad knees, he had to learn 
how to wrestle a different style. But he had the best years of his life at Stone Cold Steve Austin with those knee braces. So in hindsight, him having bad knees made him a better wrestler because he had to learn how to be a technician, right? That's the point. And it taught him how to get a character because you can't rely on flips and dives and kicks forever. You can't rely on doing spot stuff. Eventually, man, you have to adapt. You got to be known for something else besides your skills in a damn ring. This will give Dante Martin more time to develop a character. Dude, that's not a character doing flips and dives and kicks. You need more than that, man. You can't cling on to that. That's for the birds, man. That's goofy. It's like Dante, he's he's a goofy, right? Dante is a goofy. Hence why he got hurt. That spot made no sense. Now his leg looks like Psycho Sid. Now he's lucky he's young. Boy, he is lucky he is young. Cause I think he will recover. But this is his wake up call. Now he will learn how to be a technician in the ring. Stop relying on flips. Do a headlock. Do a damn cross face. Do a damn sharpshooter. Learn how to wrestle. It's not about flips. Like, who cares, bro? Man, I don't understand you kids, man. Um, When I was watching WCW in the 90s, dog, I want to be Goldberg. I want to be Booker T, Savage, Hogan, those guys. I'm sorry, but I did not look up to Ray. I mean, yeah, he was great, but... He's not a guy that I want to be like. I want to be like The Rock. I want to be Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brian Pillman. Guys with great gimmicks where they don't gotta do flips and dives to get your approval. The Rock was cutting promos and the crowd was popping without him wrestling. If you can get the audience to pop without you taking one bump, with a mic in your hand, that's your money maker. You don't need flips. That's what Brian Pillman found out. He made his most money once he stopped doing flips. Once he stopped flying in the air. How come people don't realize his blueprint got him rich? Vince paid him tons and tons of money. Not for his flips. He signed loose cannon Brian Pillman. He didn't sign flying Brian Pillman. That's the difference. Who made more money? Flying Brian or the loose cannon Brian? Listen, once Steve Austin and Brian Pillman got hurt, they had to change the in-ring style and they had to focus more on character development. They had to focus on developing a gimmick right because if you are hurt that means you can't wrestle okay so in the meantime what are you going to do pillman is a prime example actually because his first year in the wwf he was hurt so he couldn't wrestle all that much but this man still gave him something to do why why because he was a great talker why waste him away at home knowing he has a gimmick he can talk so why waste that talent and see so it's like he was not one dimensional he was talented in multiple ways so it's like okay Brian does not have to wrestle okay we can still use him on TV as a talker so that keeps you making money that keeps you relevant Dante is not relevant if he is not flipping, what is he good for? Absolutely nothing. See what I'm saying? If Cody Rhodes gets hurt, you could use him actually as a talker, as a as a commentator, right? 
you can't be known for just one thing because what if that one thing is no longer in use for you Dante is hurt so now he's useless if Dante had a character you could still use him on TV if he had a character but he don't he just flips and dies and kicks so he's irrelevant like I said this injury will be the best thing to ever happen to him it's like this is your wake up call because you trying to pop these neck beards and you got hurt I feel like this is a perfect chance to be a heel because of these smart fans you got hurt because of these bloodthirsty neck beards you got hurt it's not worth it it's like I don't get these people man it's lazy it's very very lazy the Rock did not have to do this, Dante. Stone Cold did not have to flip. And they are rich. So it's like, I don't get it. Same thing with, look, same thing with Max. Max does not have to wrestle, but yeah, he still is entertaining. He rarely wrestles, but he still pops the audience. He's still valuable. He's not interchangeable. You can still use him on TV without wrestling. That's a great thing. That makes him more money. That makes him more valuable. That makes him irreplaceable. You can't replace Max. Because Max can wrestle or he can talk. Max can go months without wrestling. And still entertain people without taking a bump. That's the point I'm trying to make. That could be Dante... But he's lazy. It's like, man, you got to get a character, bro. This would not happen to you if you had a character. So this is a make or break moment for Dante. Look, I ain't saying he will be the next Brian Pillman, but he should find Brian Pillman as an inspiration. Once he got hurt and he couldn't do flips and dives and kicks, he actually got more over because now he has to develop a character to stay relevant in people's eyes. Dog, it's out of sight, out of mind. It's out of sight, out of mind. Brian Pillman was in your sight, so he was always on your mind without wrestling. Dude, look at Chris Jericho. Look at Shawn Michaels. Look at The Undertaker. All three guys have been hurt multiple times and yet they had to change their in-ring style but they still stay relevant why because they have characters they have something to fall back on Dante has nothing to fall back on besides flips so he's useless on TV now see you see how important it is to have a character without being known for just one thing what if you could never do that one thing ever again what is your backup plan max has a backup plan if max were to get hurt you could still use him on tv as a talker that's why it's important to have a gimmick and a character to fall back on if things go south like for example taz has something to fall back on Task and talk. Corey Graves has something to fall back on. He can talk. Samoa Joe has something to fall back on. Joe can talk. That's what I mean. Brian Danielson has something to fall back on. He can talk. See? That's a pattern. Dante should follow. If things go south, you have to develop a character that can make you money. Without flips, you are useless to these owners. You are useless for a Tony Khan man. You are useless. So, this is a blessing in the sky. This is a wake-up call for Dante. So, my opinion, he needs to go away. His first thing he should do, develop a character Stop doing flips, dog.
it's over. It's done. It's not worth it. Learn how to be a technician in the ring. You can't wrestle. He can't wrestle. I'm sorry. He's not Ricochet. I was wrong. He's not Ricochet. Ricochet can actually wrestle. This kid can't. That's sad. It's like, who trained him? It's like, every match is doing some kind of crazy-ass flip. That's not worth it. Like, why, bro? Learn how to wrestle. It's quite simple. Have a shtick to fall back on. Enzo had a shtick to fall back on. Enzo could talk. Like, talking is very important. You need that to fall back on, right? Look at Kevin Nash. Look at Jim Cornette. Stone Cold. Kurt Angle. There's so many wrestlers that have podcasts, right? Because they, they learn how to talk in wrestling. They learn how to, how to talk in promos. Um, Mick Foley. Um, Tom Jimber. Like, there's tons of wrestlers who have podcasts, right? Because... That's their shtick to fall back on. If wrestling is over, or it don't work out, or they retire. What does Dante have to fall back on with his generic no personality? So, hopefully, somebody will teach him, look, bruh, you can't keep relying on your flips. Because what are you without that? What is MJF if he don't flip? Right. What is the Miz if he don't flip? Listen, if Max and the Miz don't do flips and dives and kicks, guess what? They are still over. If Roman don't do flips and dives and kicks, guess what? People still jerk them off. Right? If Chris Jericho don't do flips and dives and kicks, he's still over. Because he don't need that. To pop the audience. I don't get it. Like, it's crazy how nobody f finds these blueprints that are staring right in the face. These blueprints are right in your face. I don't get it. So, why risk your body for these virgin neckbeards who don't mean nothing? It's like, bruh, I don't care about y'all. The hell? That's my point. If Brian Pillman was still alive, he would be where Stone Cold is at in terms of possibly having his own podcast because Brian was a talker. Hell, this man, he wanted him to be the next Jesse Ventura, right? That's why Vince had Brian on commentary. He saw him as the next Jesse Ventura. Same thing with Jesse. Once he stopped wrestling, he actually made more money as a talker on commentary because he had a character that can translate to commentary. Jericho is on commentary on Fridays, right? He's not known for doing one thing. Can you imagine Dante Martin on commentary? No. Can you see Max on commentary? Yes. Can you see The Miz on commentary? Yes. Can you see Jay Lawler on commentary? Yes. Those guys were great wrestlers, but once they stop wrestling, hell, they can transition to being a commentator if they wanted to because they had characters that can translate to that. So I'm saying it's quite easy, it's quite simple. But nobody gets it. That's it. I'm done.